When you know what's right for you, you're on your way to being a well-being. Learn how with personalised advice from Blackmores. Uh, welcome to this week's Blackmore's Injury Update. Uh, and pleasingly, uh, the total of injuries is going in the right direction. We're, uh, we're progressing quite well, so that's, uh, that's great news. And uh, both Jamie Elliott and Levi Greenwood trained strongly. So, uh, you know, they did everything that was asked of them. So that's really good news. And we will uh, see how they pull up in the next 24 hours to make a decision on whether they're available this week for this coming uh, round of matches or whether it's another week. But certainly their, uh, their form uh, on the track this afternoon was really pleasing, uh, as was Daniel Wells. You know, Daniel's uh, probably a week or so behind them, but uh, trained really strongly today. And uh, I would expect this time next week he'll be at least pushing himself into the frame for for selection. So he's uh, he's certainly over the hump and running and training strongly, joining in and doing uh, doing everything that's asked of him. Uh, Rupert Wills will play a portion of our VFL practice game. It's the last VFL practice game before they go into the season proper in uh, a week or so's time. Uh, Rupert will play for at least a half uh, against North Ballarat on, on Saturday, so that's good news. Callum Brown is uh, well over his uh, glandular fever, a little bit of an ankle problem, but he's up and going, he trained again today, and uh, he'll, I expect he'll be available for selection. Jordan Degoe, his hands uh, repairing and mending really well doing some ball work uh, today, running strongly, uh, and I would think by the end of next week, uh, he'd be declared himself available, or the medical staff will declare him available for VFL selection. Uh, Tommy Langdon is probably the, the, the outlier in terms of taking a little bit longer. Uh, we'd like to see Tom's knee uh, settle down over the next couple of weeks, so yeah, we'll give it a couple of weeks of you know, some intensive rehab and we'll see uh, how he's going at the end of that two weeks before we make any declaration on just uh, what sort of a time uh, he's returning to play. Uh, that's it, short and sweet, and that's uh, the way we like it. So uh, we'll uh, update you all next week. Thank you.